Okay, we're here in Epinal, France, and we're here with Clement from Moustache Bikes. Hi, Clement. Can Hi. you tell us about this wonderful new cargo bike we've got in front of us here? Yeah, um, that's the new uh, Landy 20, which is uh, the new mobility cargo mobility solution uh, from Moustache. So that's um, a completely new uh, new model for us, new category. Uh, so there was a, a long development to, to, to achieve this, uh, this uh, Landy 20. Uh, many, many different solutions also. We've been through different solutions like normal cargo with the, 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 the front loading, uh, long tail, uh, three wheel cargo. We've tried many, many solutions uh, before like finding for us the, the best solution uh, in our eyes for cargo. And um, I can see we've got some QL3 uh, attachments on the rack there, and we've got some MIK accessories there. That's all fully integrated with, and I guess you've got your own accessories. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, uh, I'll be able to go into the details of all the accessories uh, if you want. There's, uh, the, the, the idea was to not only come with a bicycle, but come with a complete solution, uh, including uh, bike and accessories, uh, because the idea of the, that Landy 20 was to, uh, uh, to be appealing to a large amount of users, uh, from, from family to, uh, to workers, to uh, uh, plumbers, whatever, you know, that was the, 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 the intention and that was the goal with the Landy 20, to appeal to a, a super large amount of, of use. And, uh, and that's why we've been uh, uh, developing like a smart uh, a solution for, for um, racks, uh, for accessories, partners, etc. That, that was the idea. And I guess, um, although you Mustache are new to the game of uh, family cargo bikes. You, you've, you've had chance to assess other manufacturers and what they have done. And, and what do you think you've brought to, to, the, to this uh, sector that is going to improve things for everybody? And yeah, that's true. I mean, we, we are new on the cargo segment, but uh, uh, at the same time, we've been, we've been actually uh, studying that segment for a long, long time now because that was uh, uh, something we were uh, super interested to, to, to enter, a category we were really interested to enter. And at the same time, we, we, uh, we knew uh, we could not enter with a solution which was uh, a step further everything on the, on the market. So we've been studying, of course, all the competitors, all the brands on the market. Uh, to find what we like about those products, but also what we dislike. Uh, and then after, we, 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 we really start after from scratch uh, to create our own design, our own touch. Uh, so it's, um, it's different on, on several aspects. Uh, first of all, we wanted to be compact uh, and, and easy to maneuver. Uh, so the lens actually of, of that Landy 20 is slightly uh, longer uh, compared to Landy 27, which is one of the iconic uh, uh, urban model from, uh, from Moustache. So it's uh, 1 meter 85, so it's not, it's not long for, it's really compact cargo. Uh, we want it also to be easy to maneuver. So we've been uh, working a lot on the geometry, on the, the mid-step also uh, position, uh, on the use of the 20 inch wheels uh, front and rear, uh, all those elements uh, mixed together. Uh, we've been tweaking the geometry a lot because we wanted a cargo with the same behavior and the same fun that you can get with the Landy 27. So, so the, really the target for us when we first start the project, we took the Landy 27, okay, this is how it rides. We want the same, but with super uh, efficient loading facility on top of this. And that was, that was the, basically the goal for us. Can you just uh, go over the bike and take us through the features? Sure. Um, so talking just talking about the frame first, um, as you can tell, it looks a lot like the, the, the old uh, Landy uh, 26 we had previously. Uh, that's actually a triple gravity tubing. So uh, the idea was to have a super strong frame because safety is, is really important uh, on the cargo. Uh, the, that's a category which is appealing uh, to family, for example, uh, or which is in urban use in any case. So that's uh, security is a must. So that was the idea uh, with that uh, triple gravity tubing to have something really strong, uh, really capable of uh, putting a lot of load on the bike without changing the behavior of the bike and without having any flex uh, that will disturb the, the riding. So that's the that was the, the, the main goal. Um, then after, we've been working with many, many clever solutions. Uh, for comfort, of course, you can recognize the, the typical Landy uh, yeah, the and the bar. So shape. super comfortable, uh, 
upright position, so really good in terms of uh, safety also, because you can have a, a clear vision while you ride, and it's uh, yeah, it's just a super comfortable uh, position. Uh, ergonomic grips, uh, the saddle is also uh, super comfortable. One element which is uh, really, really nice uh, is that uh, on that bike, uh, we put a, a seat post, which is with suspension, so that's a first element, that's cool. You can adjust the pressure actually here, so if you are uh, heavier, you can adjust that and you can have the, the exact uh, suspension um, traveled uh, depending on the, your weight. Mm -hmm. And also, one thing which is cool here, you have a remote, uh, so you can just push the remote and you can lower the, seat, the, the saddle. That's something which hasn't been done on, on urban bikes and yeah. we think it's a super, super useful uh, trick because yep. basically when you are loaded with kids or a lot of things on your bike, when you stop at the, at the crossroad, it's, it's really good to be able to, to, to lower the seat and be super comfortable and, and the, the two <laughs> feet on the ground and that's, that's, uh, that's safe. And once you go back and pedal and you restart, then you push again and it's come back in, into the normal position. And, and I know that some, some people worry sometimes with drop a seat posts with the cable, um, if you try and raise the overall um, post up, yep. you always have to feed the cable through as well. But in the yeah. training you showed us that there's actually... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've done a, a, a one thing which is uh, just basically located here. That's uh, just uh, behind this, uh, this uh, protection here, this cover. Uh, basically, there's like a cable loop which allow us to have some, uh, some freedom uh, to go from the really low position up to the very high position uh, without having to, to maneuver the cable or, or pull the cables inside the, the, the cable routings. And just like the Landy uh, 27, the, the idea was to have one size fits all. Uh, what we've noticed basically on that, uh, on that uh, cargo category is that really often a cargo bike was a bike which was used not only by one person, but by several persons within the same family. Uh, so we thought it was a, a better idea to have one uh, geometry with basically a seat angle which is slightly backward, uh, like this when you ride the, 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 the saddle, uh, you go higher, but you, you also get some more distance basically uh, to the, the other bar, so you have a, a better position for, for uh, taller people. So that, that's a cool feature for, for that bike also. Uh, talking about structure, uh, of course, uh, it looks, I mean, we s often say it looks a little bit like, a, like the Eiffel Tower <laughs> design. Basically, we've been um, uh, working with all the tubing here uh, to have something which is, again, super strong. The rear rack also is super strong. The total uh, loading capacity is 200 grams. That's the total, so that's... Yeah, yeah. Uh, kilograms, yeah, yeah. sorry. <laughs> we've been also developing, uh, as you said, diff diff different um, type of accessories. Uh, first, I mean, we can start with this. Uh, that's um, Urban Iki uh, partnership. That's uh, a seat pad. So basically, what is cool about that seat pad, we are using the MIG HD system. So as you can see on the rear rack here, uh, you have different spots where you can fix, where you can affix the, the, the rear rack. Yes. So it's super simple. You just position and that's it. It's, it, it's, uh, it's uh, yeah, really God, straightforward. My five-year-old loves this uh, little urban icky seat. We've got one of these on my standard bike. Yeah. He loves it. Yeah. So that uh, uh, looks like a regular seat pad, but actually uh, here you can also have the... <laughs> For if you have a, a, a kid which is in between basically a child seat uh, and, uh, and let's say adults uh, riding, at least you, you feel safer with this. And if you want to feel even safer with a, maybe a younger uh, person on that seat, here, yeah, if you take this out, you have a, a seat belt here, so you can basically put it back on, reclips here. There you go. Yep. And then after that, you can secure uh, the, the person which is at the back. Uh, to work uh, with that uh, seat pad, uh, we've been working, uh, we've been developing another, uh, another accessory called Diego, which is this uh, little uh, handle, basically. Uh, like this, you have something to, yeah, to, to, to grab when you, are, when you are at the back of the of the bike. What's, what's, the, what's the naming all about? Tell us about Diego. Diego, yeah, it's a, uh, a little uh, game that we've done, basically. Uh, all the naming for all the accessories, uh, we've decided to choose 
very famous uh, moustache people. Uh, and just by the name, maybe you will recognize some of them. So there's, uh, you will see there's Diego, uh, there's, uh, uh, sorry? Albert. Albert, of course, for the, for the monkey bar. Uh, Salvador, easy one. Uh, <laughs> so the, yeah, I will, I will show you step by step all the, all the different naming. So that's, that's the, the, the seed pad, so you can, again, take it out super easily. Uh, we've been also working with uh, uh, backpack solutions. That's uh, what a backpack that we call Clark. Um, so basically what we've done uh, on that backpack, this is a roll top uh, system. It's 100% uh, waterproof. Uh, basically uh, inside the, the bag, there's a, a compartment basically where you, for the computer. So you can have here, you can grab also uh, the, the computer silly, which is provided with the, the bike, okay. uh, with the bike, sorry. And it's a 100% waterproof also uh, zipper. Uh, so roll top, when you roll, one thing which is cool, and sometimes I don't find it very often on roll top uh, bags actually, is that you can uh, fix on any side of the, while you roll, so that's cool. Another small thing, small details, but I think it's super cool. Really often with a, a roll top uh, pack, uh, when you clip it, really often, it, you know, it's pushing down the, the material and it's hard to click. Here, it's a simple details, but yeah, you can just put your finger underneath here and you clip it, so it's it's super easy to clip. And, um, I like the styling of it as well. It's, it's, it's a very sort of urban style. Ex bag. Yeah, it's I mean, um, a nice uh, gray with uh, uh, reflecting materials. And one thing which is cool also, so that's a backpack, super comfortable. And if you want, you can turn that backpack into a rear pannier actually. So if you unzip this here, you can access uh, the, um, the connection, the connecting uh, uh, system, so you can clip. So it's actually a standard system, so you can use it on any rear rack on the market. There's a, a little thing here to secure the entire uh, system. And there's also a, a, a strap here at the bottom to avoid the bag uh, from moving when you... Uh, and I was actually pretty surprised. I was a little bit skeptical when I first seen that, that, uh, that fitting because I thought, yeah, it, it would be not very comfortable to wear and actually it's not it's uh, first there is some padding here mm -hmm. and second actually uh, the the design of the bag um, uh, is done to really put the weight more at the bottom and not at the top so when you wear it you, you literally don't feel it when you uh, and one element also which is a uh, uh, cool details but when you actually clip the bag on the rear rack you have some little clips here so you can secure uh, the exactly. You can secure and avoid the strap to go uh, inside the, the wheel. On that Landy 20, it's not too much a problem actually because we have the, the wheel cover, which is a 100% wheel cover. Uh, That's that included with the bike. Exactly. You have to buy these things. Yeah, yeah, and that does the that does the job. Uh, but if you use it on another bike, that's uh, that's a cool option. Yeah. So that's that's for the. Um, the Clark, and we've done the Greg and Manu. So Greg and Manu, easy, famous I mean, these, people. Are, these are nice accessories, be it on this bike or not, really. On any bike, these are these are these are great accessories, really. Yeah, yeah, sure. The, I mean, uh, again, that's using the the, the Mika HD system. So any any rear rack using the Mika HD or any uh, uh, moustache bike with the Mika HD. We have a lot of model using the Mika HD. Uh, you can uh, fix that super easily. So that's uh, basically the same principle. Uh, of course, you have uh, you double the, the, the capacity with that bike, uh, that, that bike, and, and it's uh, very easy. So you just position the bag here. Here we go. Yep. And you clip it. So super easy. So that's uh, same as the the other the other bag. Uh, basically, you have a, here. You can see it, there's a strap, so you can really secure and avoid the bag from uh, yeah. from moving too much. It just basically clicks into these. Uh, yeah, that's into these exactly. Slots. So you have one, two, three, four, and even five when you remove actually the the Diego. Uh, so that's five different placements. We were learning today. Mik HD is the sort of stronger, yeah, stronger rating than that's this. that's the heavy duty version. Uh, you have the MIC and MIC HD. Uh, we use the the MIC HD standard at the rear. Uh, for example, uh, when you uh, have a child seat, so we've done a, a partnership with again Urbaniki on the child seat. Uh, so it's a color that we uh, we have in stock uh, exclusively 
Ghibli, uh, which will be sold also by, uh, by Moustache. Yeah. And, uh, and basically, same again, we are using uh, the MIG HD uh, system to, to affix the, the child seat. So basically, you go here. There you go. Tac. Um, come on. Okay, sorry. <laughs> So obviously, if you don't use uh, if you don't use the the QL3 uh, slots, we advise to uh, to remove, remove them. them yeah. There you go. I mean, and if you yeah. just do that with like a four millimeter Allen key, can't you? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's uh, it's it's super easy. It's uh, just a four millimeter Allen key. And, what's, and uh, what's the name of this seat exactly? Uh, the uh, this one it doesn't have a name. The, okay. the, the two Armani key uh, products. They, uh, we just let uh, the 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 seat pad name and the baby seat uh, name. So it's the only. Okay. Uh, accessory which actually I don't have the, the and I, uh, I picked it up earlier and it does feel I mean I've, obviously we 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 use yet maxis and, and stuff like that and it does feel a, li a little lighter than a yet maxi I have to say it's yeah like, it's very light but still remains super comfortable because actually you have some flex on the on the the the, the material which is good and um, yeah, it's uh, they do like great products, Urbaniki. So we, we are really happy to do a partnership with them to uh, to develop those uh, those products. So basically, that's a uh, a, a bag that rear panel that you can fix uh, directly. This is one. This one has to be fixed. It's not uh, the other one. You can remove them really quickly. This one, the idea is really to to affix the bag. So you have some uh, holes here, yeah. and uh, as you can see here, there is some threaded uh, uh, positioning. Yeah. So that's actually where the bag uh, will be staying. So the 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 volume is really big. Uh, it's a it's a 45 liter, and and basically, so you have some straps here again to secure what you will have inside the bag. Again, to make it uh, clean and, and to avoid having the the strap going in, in the way here, we have a, a clips here to secure. And what is cool is that so when you don't use the bag, you can just fold it like that. You have some. Velcro below, and basically it can go super flat like that. So the good thing is that when you don't use it, you can keep it like that, and you can still uh, uh, having someone, for example, at the rear and can carry someone at the rear. And the ch and the baby seats, the child seats, can still the drive. child seat can go above that actually. Yeah. With the urban key, it's, it's working. So it's uh, it's uh, again uh, a super versatile uh, ID. What okay. you're saying as well that you can also use the. the the foot rails also support the weight. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Underline. Of course. That, yeah, and and actually that one, uh, there is some attachment also uh, at the bottom. Uh, so it's it again. It's really safe. And even if you load a lot of thing inside the 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 bag, that that won't move. That won't affect the the, the riding at all. Okay. Quick review also about the the specking because uh, we have actually four different versions. Uh, so the Landy twenty point three. Uh, which is the first version, which is coming with a uh, uh, Shimano 11-speed um, uh, uh, drivetrain. And that's actually uh, with a single battery. And we have the Landy 20.3 dual, which is actually coming with dual battery. So two times 500 watts. So you are obviously doubling the, the autonomy. So that's really for the people that will use intensively the bike or like really professional use. They would prefer to go that, that uh, uh, with that uh, that model and actually we don't have it here but we have also two other versions uh, which is a new thing for for moustache because we are using belt drive so it's the landy 20.5 and landy 20.5 dual uh, so we are using the gate belt drive which is the, the reference on the market for for belt drive and uh, and uh, yeah with all the benefit from the from the belt super clean super easy to use maintenance uh, almost maintenance free let's say and, uh, and this is associated with the Enviolo uh, rear hub, which is basically a hub where you have all the gearing inside the hub. And it's super easy, super intuitive to, to use because it's, a, uh, it's a, with a, a rotating shifter, basically. So yeah. it's, uh, Our customers love that hub, uh, the variable, it's con continuous, continuously variable transmission. Uh, so it's, yeah, you can really easily use it, the traffic lights, uh, without, you know, you can change gear traffic lights without pedaling, that kind of thing. Really good for pulling kids along with. Um, yeah, also to to speak about uh, some other details quickly. Uh, here you can see the different uh, model of the front uh, the front rack. So basically here, as you can see, 
you have the Charlie, uh, which is the, the, the compact one, uh, which is using the MIC system and not the MIC HD. So why doing MIC instead of MIC HD? Um, all the child seats, uh, they have by law uh, to, to be used with MIC HD in terms of safety. And we don't want uh, people to put a child seat at the front. So with this trick, uh, yeah, we'll avoid uh, uh, use which are not uh, uh, the best basically for the in terms of safety um, this is Salvador that's the, the Salvador same again uh, using the mix system so super easy to click uh, with some wooden uh, base it's a really stylish one and here you can see Frida which is a, another system uh, a crate uh, with the moustache logo you can actually use it in different direction because the you, when you fix the mic hd uh, you can position the mic hd in in different spots so um, whether you want it this way in this side or or depending if you use it at the front or at the rear you can you can and play that's with the standard them. euro crate size is it yeah that's a standard euro it's uh, i think uh, for uh, 30 by uh, by 60 i think uh, and that's uh, that match actually very well the, the Charlie which is another uh, front carrier which is actually uh, perfect if you want to, to carry a crate because you have the, uh, the, the, the exact dimension uh, and here on that bike what is interesting also you can see uh, the Albert uh, monkey bar uh, which is a monkey bar which is actually sold directly uh, as standard basically with all the models so yeah. that's so you uh, don't have to buy that as an accessory yeah, exactly it's that's not bike, yeah. put your kids inside it when there's not a crate in there exactly uh, whereas um, some of the products you would have to buy that as a separate thing yeah so some cool feature about the, the Albert bar basically uh, it's super easy to fix and, and, and unfix if you want to use for example uh, the seat pad uh, it's only four bolts uh, to affix the the the, the Albert bar uh, one little trick also we've done uh, here as you can see there's a little appendix uh, so why we have done this basically what we've noticed is when uh, kids are on the back really often they put their hands like that yeah. and uh, the idea with this was to really protect them against like if you stop uh, and you lean by mistake against the wall or if you hit anything uh, going up front uh, the, the hands will be protected so, that, so that's, a, that's a, a cool feature and also here you have two inserts uh, which are allowing you uh, to put a water bottle for example so if you want to go with your kid on a long ride uh, you can uh, add this and uh, as you can notice also at the rear here you've got some padding here and at the bottom so why this hey it's because it's super compact so uh, i'll show you you can lean this way yep and it goes vertical there we go so again if you live in uh, in london in an apartment and you want to <laughs> bring your bike uh, at the in your apartment that that's uh, that's super clever and uh, take your kids out first though, yeah so if you or if you are lacking space, if you have a garage but you have limited space, uh, yeah, of course you save a lot of space by by uh, by using this. And when you and want also, I guess it's uh, obviously there's other bikes that do this as well, but it's it's great for maintenance, isn't it? I guess also if you need to get ah uh, yeah 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 it helps you if you need to get to your derailleur, you know you can you can alter things. Actually, that's a good position to to check also the. The, the Bosch uh, cargo line uh, motor. This is uh, the engine that we use on that bike. Uh, so why cargo line and not the, the CX? Basically, there's uh, the same torque for the CX and the cargo line, uh, but the cargo line is, uh, let's say, more progressive in the in the behavior, basically, of the the, the, the motor. So it's uh, it's more punchy at the beginning of the the, the 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 acceleration. So we feel it's it's much better, especially if you have like kids. Or if you are in the traffic, you want a bike that goes too fast, too quick. Otherwise, it can be dangerous. So we use the the cargo line for that um, for that model. And uh, position also is great to see <laughs> the braking. Uh, we are talking about safety. Uh, we are using the Magura MT4 uh, brakes, yep. uh, which are again single uh, 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 piston. I mean double piston at the front, but with a large diameter. Uh, and large disc so that's good because that gives you both something which is progressive and powerful at the okay. same time. 100, 180 is it or is it bigger? Yeah uh, 180 uh, and 200 I think 200 at the front. Oh, 200 at the front 180 on the back so yeah lots of stopping power there. And, um, and this is associated with the 
the of course the the 20 by one uh, 2.35 sorry uh, in terms of uh, section so really, really big uh, uh, 20 inch tires uh, that brings comfort and both uh, models we use the Kenda and we have the Schwab pickup also also uh, they are able of uh, having a lot of load one is 100 kilograms per tire uh, the Schwab is 120 so that's a lot so the Schwab you're getting that on the 20.5 model are yeah, you and yeah. the Kenda's you're getting that on the 20.3 exactly but they're both really puncture resistant yeah really puncture and the, basically the the structure the the, the thread of the, the, the tire is very strong and that's a good aspect because basically that all uh, that allow us uh, to have lower pressure inside the tire so without having any puncture and, and, and by doing this we are also adding comfort and, and really often when people are, are trying the, the Landy 20 they're really surprised by the comfort so it's part because of the tires because of the of course the saddle and suspension uh, and that's, um, that's a, a cool feature also of that bike.